Good morning, everyone, and happy spring break. Um, I want to just quickly go over with you some information about your stats project that hopefully you're working on. Um, I wanted to show you that apparently this date here is not going to be the one that's going to be due on. However, if you do get stuff done, then you can always email it to me. Um, my email address is christine.elliot, with two T's, at ideapublicschools.org. I still have access to that and we'll always be um, checking that. So, and then also on remind. Um, okay, so hopefully you guys have picked a question. So here's an example I did. So mine was, um, what's your favorite athletic team? But I got more specific and I said, which one was the favorite, your favorite football team? So that's the question that I was gonna survey. So each, um, each page is gonna have that football team or up there at the top, that's your question you're gonna ask everybody. Choice number one, I put Dallas Cowboys. Choice number two, Texans. Choice number three, Packers. Three is Seahawks and four is Broncos. No, one, two, three, four, five. Five is Broncos, okay. So, um, and I'm gonna ask, let's say if I say, hey Steven, what's your favorite football team? Okay, so he says Seattle Seahawks, so he's my first person I'm going to ask. So on number one, I'm going to go to Seahawks, and I'm going to write in Steven. Okay, see how I did that? Okay, and so you can use yourself also, ask yourself, what's my favorite football team? And so for me, sorry, but it is the Texans. So under the second person, I'll put... My second person, I put my name under the Texans, okay? So if you ask Miss Alvarado, and Miss Alvarado says, my favorite team is the Texans. Oh, okay, so on number three, I'm gonna put Miss Alvarado, okay? So if you're interviewing people and you don't know their name, you know, put whatever you'd like, okay? I just, I, I, that's the point of it is not the actual name, but just the, the tally, the amount that you're getting. And I guess if you go to any H-E-B or Walmart about 7, 30 or 8 o'clock in the morning, you're going to find all kinds of people there. So, uh, but you can also put on social media, um, ask family, friends, neighbors. Um, and so for each person, you're going to write their name underneath whichever their answer choice is. Okay, so once you get through with all of that, see, on the second page, I have the same thing, football, and all five choices are the same. And then the last page, football teams and all five choices are the same. All right, so after you go with totaling all of that, you're going to go to your frequency table page, okay? So with this one, um, this table here, if you notice, I put in favorite football team and I've listed all the choices. And a conversion table, same thing. And conversion table percent to degrees is also the same thing. So what you're gonna do, after you get all of your um, survey answers, and you have 100 of them, then you're gonna hit, I wanna see the tally marks here. So as you're counting through, how many Dallas Cowboy answers did you have? And you're gonna start tallying. So that would be like, it would look similarly to this. And you're gonna keep going all the way across. And then that frequency, which is something we haven't quite learned yet, but it's not that hard, guys. How many did you totally um, interview. It should be 100, right? So let's say your tally marks here were 50. So that's going to be 50 out of, good, 50 out of 100. So the frequency is 50 out of 100. See that? Okay. So now this should look pretty familiar. Oh, a number over 100. That looks awful close to a percent. And you are right. So the frequency here is, I'm going to go ahead and double check. I'm going to change my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 45, 1, 2, 3. So we make it real. Okay, so there's 50 love tally marks, and that's 50 here. So come down here. Make sure you can see it better. <clears throat> so on the conversion table, I'll start with 50 out of 100. So what does that look like as a my fraction? Well, my, my it was actually my frequency was actually 50. So as a fraction, it's 50 over 100, like that. 50 over 100. 
What does that look like as a decimal? When you divide 50 by 100, that should be point, it's either 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. And then of course, remember as a percent, you want 100 as your decimal, as your denominator. So the percent is actually anything that's in the numerator. So your percent on that would actually be 50%. Okay? That's the first part of doing the conversion table. Frequency was 50. That's 50 out of 100. Decimal is 0.5 or 50, 0.50, and that's 50%. Um, and then finally down here at the conversion table, it's a little bit trickier because we have not dealt with uh, um, circle graphs at all. So basically you're going to take your percent, which is in, for this case is, is Dallas, at 50%. So 50 divided by 100, what was the decimal that gave us? Good. So Dallas, see right here, Dallas is going to be 50%. 50%, we're going to divide 50 by 100, which gives us, what is our decimal? Gives us 0.5, and now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply it times 360, because how many degrees make up a circle? Okay, we didn't know. Some of us knew that, some of us didn't. So if ha a line going across is 180 degrees, which we have talked about, then the other half is another 180, so it's 360 degrees. So if you take that 0.5 and you multiply that times 360, what's half of 360? Oops, I put percent because I'm used to doing that. Ah! Boom. So it's going to be 180 degrees. All right? So 50% of 360 that we multiplied down here is 180 degrees. Okay, so what? Now that you've got that part and, we'll, and you can finish filling in the rest of your choices, we're going to come back here to our circle graph. Um, and so I list each of the, the five choices here. And I'm going to give a color. Uh, I'm going to give a color to each of them just because I think color is fun. And then I'm also going to, um, I'm going to add in what the degrees are here. So this right here would be, point, would be uh, 50%, right? So if I do 50%, right here, then I know that if I do a straight line going all the way across, okay, I'm freehanding this, guys. Boom. I'm gonna put a dot in the middle and a line going straight across that this whole thing here would be Dallas. And if I assigned it a color like blue, then that would show Dallas Cowboys 50%. And the other four would be broken up into the other part, however, what percent, whatever um, degrees that you have calculated. Okay, so that is um, all the way up through the conversion, the frequency table, the conversion table, and then the conversion table to the to the degrees. And then finally, we're gonna write about it. Oh yes, more writing and math. So this page right here has first of all, it tells you the point. The points, it'll be 20 points for um, your report. It basically says paragraph one, paragraph two, and paragraph three. It lists the questions. All you gotta do is answer the questions and like in complete sentences, using punctuation, capitalization where necessary. And, and I give you paper, the line paper at the back to do this with. Give me some line paper back here. If you need to use the backside too, that's totally awesome. But um, the, what I want you to do is paragraph one. If y'all can go ahead and start this like now, that'd be great. Paragraph one says, which D1 do you think is going to be the most favorite and why? So you can kind of come up with that now if you haven't started already. Even if you did start already, even if you finished, you just come up with an idea. Hey, you know what? I thought they might pick this one. Um, share your experiences and opinions to why before conducting the survey. Which choice do you believe will be the least favorite and why? And then which choices will be close to the number of votes and which do you think will tie? So are there any wrong answers? No. This is all you. It's what do you think and why? Share your experiences on why do you think it, that your opinion might be the way it is. So paragraph two is basically all, all about the experience. Um, where did you do it? Um, how did you do it? When and who did you sample? It doesn't have to be, um, they were 32 years old, this was 52. It doesn't have to be like that. It's just like, 
I mainly um, interviewed adults, or I mainly interviewed students. Um, most of them were girls, most of, you know, th things like that. That's what I want you to write about. And the last one is the conclusion. So, which choice was the most popular and what was the percentage? So, you're going to talk about your, your findings. What ended up being not the most popular and what was the percentage? And was there a percentage that was close or tied? And then you go back up to the first paragraph and say, was your conjecture true? And, I mean... The main thing is, guys, I, I do want you to enjoy this, even though I know it's work and I know it's spring break and we really don't have a clue on how um, how long this break is going to be. So for now, let's get the data project done. Um, this will be taken for a grade, however it gets to me. Uh, you have my email address. We can also communicate through Remind. Uh, I'm going to upload this video and post it for parents so hopefully that I can if you have comments that you can also comment on it as well so um, yeah all I know I do not have any further information other than, other than the week extension of the break I don't have any other knowledge on how that's gonna look if it's extending past it I do not know so but anyway praying for you guys I hope you guys are enjoying some time please let me know if you have any questions at all okay all right. Bye, guys.